Welcome back to Stick War Legacy. Today we're going to be using Darth Vader, the Lord of the Sith. His strategy. <laughs> this one comes in from Sir Vader, and this is, quote, the most broken strategy in Stick War Legacy. And we want to put that to the test. So if you guys have some OP strategies, leave in the comments, man, because this is going to be a fun little series to have. But essentially what we're going to do is let's actually go to a tournament and we're in the first round here. I just gotta make sure we have the right skins up though. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using ice skins. So we're gonna try it in normal and then we might even use it just like in a campaign. So barricades, a pile of rocks. Okay, that's fine. Now, essentially what we need to do is massively upgrade our sword wrath. We're also gonna increase our gold production so that we can just spam out more guys. And then after that, I guess we'll just do mining bags because ultimately we just want to use sword wrath so here we go let's uh actually get two miners since there's a wall we're actually going to want to build up a, a requisite level of income a good level of income instead of two miners we're gonna have five because five equals more money oh look at that you've got some sword wrath too that's great so sir vader huh the high attack rate plus high attack damage plus the ice skin's slow effect plus the mass Horde of the Sword Wrath creates a nigh unstoppable buzzsaw that'll cut through most enemy armies and units. Most, he says. Most? I want more than most. I want all of them. Oh, well, they are massing Sword Wrath, so it'll be interesting to see our souped up Ice Sword Wrath versus theirs. So I like to imagine this is like a blizzard coming down the mountain, but instead of like, you know, snow at the beginning, it's like icy swords. All right, so we've got massive. We've got massive numbers of uh, miners. We have eight. That's the maximum you can have or the maximum you should have Unless you're doing some minor only cheese strategy or something like that. But look at that. Look how cool our icy boys look And they produce relatively quickly. We could crack the whip, right? Isn't there? What does the crack the whip do again? Hold on. I, I've, I have to assess this because I feel like it's a chaos spell in the whip cracking Boost unit training speed for 20 seconds. So we could do that if we need it. We'll have that in our back pocket sort of as a technique we can use. So yeah, I'm pretty much just massing. You know what? I feel like we're going to go ahead and send them to take down the wall. The enemy's not taking down the wall. So we want to get through it relatively quickly. Our guys are doing 42 damage. That's really good for a sword wrath. I mean, they're fully upgraded. They got ice. Oh, they got a few archers, don't they? So we'll take down the wall and actually like pull a, a, a short retreat, dodge that arrow. Let's see, how many lines do we have? We've got two, almost three lines. All right, so I think it's clear. Can we win a tournament? Psh. Yeah, we can. Let's try and sleep a lot. How many of our men fall? Oh man, they're using, they're using a little archer barrage ability. 54 damage, 9 damage, 43, 43. Man, those arrows suck. They suck in that they're really, really good. Like, I can't even spend my gold. Now I'm masked out. Oh my god. 21, 21, 21. It should drop to twos now. Now we have to fight them. But we're freezing them and making them attack slower. If they, in fact, do get a survive to, sur like, even swing once or twice. There's a, a Spearton out there. I'll never give up. Oh, I never give up. You look like you're sweating there, Bobby. I wonder if Stick War 3 is going to have tournaments. Wow, that was quick. Okay, so moving on. Two minutes and 53 seconds. Can we continue to just crush these guys? So now we're fighting crews. Now what is this one? Team start with a small amount of gold and two miners. Fight to, okay, so it's classic. Yeah, it said it was classic. All right, so there we go. Economy and Sword Wrath only. Now, what I'm going to do is send in a Sword Wrath to harass them, and he's going to go immediately into the attack. They have a basic club boy, so I don't know what he upgraded, but it wasn't Sword Wrath. And then we'll get a second one in there. Okay, so two... Wow, three versus one. Let's see who wins. <laughs> Dude, these guys are boss. Oh my god, we almost finished them all off. Okay. So let's get two more miners. Our rush work. Now, he's controlling him, so this guy should actually be able to kill a miner or two, I think. Nope, they're reinforcing pretty quick. And it's two versus one. Can we take one of them out? Yes, we can. Almost two. Almost two. All right, so let's go on defense. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's build up a, a, a force worthy of reckoning. Is that the is that what the Emperor said in those terrible new Star Wars movies? They don't make them like they used to. Oh, 
Mehmet on the last video was saying, can you play Endless Deads with only using chaos units and spells? That would be a fun challenge. I'm gonna heart that comment right now. Nice. Thank you, Emmett, or Mehmet. All right, so after this, we'll get two more miners, and we'll send in this wave um, as just kind of like, well, you know what? I mean, we can't spend our money. We can't spend it fast enough. So once we get two lines, we'll charge, which will be right now. Attack. Set them in, boys. I want you to destroy as many of those miners as is possible. And I wish you could send an attack and then make a command where all subsequent units will actually just form up and play defense. All right, pull back, pull back. We kill, let's see, looks like four miners. Oh man, their economy is wrecked. Now we did lose one soldier, right? Yeah, we only lost one soldier in that raid. <laughs> Get wrecked, boys. All right, oh, and that guy's just standing there chilling with two arrows sticking out of his head like, hey guys. Having a bad day, but you know, I'm still alive, so really you just gotta be counting your blessings. You gotta think positively, guys. And I think we are. Because <laughs> I am positively gonna win this battle. We've got four full Archidon lines now. Fire. I'm so epic, dude. Stop doing the Archidon spell on me. That does so much damage to me, boys. If only we could have enough uh, a shieldy boys, and it actually would create a testudo formation from the Romans. That would be dope. Maybe if, like, if you had, like, a game where it was sort of like Stick War Legacy, but maybe, like, more historically based. It was, like, Rome, Ancient Egypt, stuff like that. The Romans could have a Testudo ability. Like, each faction would have its own unique abilities. That would be dope. What would be the coolest Stick War game? World War One Trenches would be pretty cool. Mythology would be pretty cool. Team start with 14 miners and a ton of gold. Oh, this one's an easy go all in on Sword Wrath. I mean, it's working incredibly well so far. I actually want just minor gold production rate, and then we'll just have these guys, why not? Now we're not, we're gonna use them. Basically, the idea okay. is that since their bag isn't as big, they won't stay as long on the battlefield, so they'll likely die less and bring back gold fast enough to give us the edge on this battlefield. We've already got a Sword Wrath out there, our Sword Wrath versus theirs. He got the first attack, interestingly <laughs> enough. Their guys might be building a tad faster or actually maybe they're just building the same but i mean we're just spamming sword wrath we have won the skirmish all their sword wrath are dead we're starting to kill some of their miners it looks like based off the bags one two three four five six seven miners killed already and with all that gold flowing in now i don't really know if i should just keep them here or not but i'm gonna do it oh wow was that their reinforcement wave and it didn't even say that was their reinforcement wave so let's see who wins this we might have to pull back no no we don't we don't have to pull back strategy games hurt my brain i should stick to racing games dude you're right mr motorcycle guy we should have cavalry i don't know what a stick horse would look like It'd probably be pretty funny. Hard Games in the last video said, your Stick War Legacy vids are OP. Thanks, man. I mean, oh, we have to fight Crazy J. This is the tournament. You are gifted gold every 60 seconds with Insta Build. Okay. This is where it's gonna be tricky to see if this works. Gold every 20 seconds. Now we're only using Sword Wrath. We'll upgrade the statue. We have a lot more, plus one minor reinforcement for upgrades. So we have mass upgrades, so we can endure some battles here. And we'll upgrade the giant, not that we're gonna use him, but. All right, pump them out and send them. Good luck. Dude, I, that's so cool. We get to play against Crazy J. One, two, we'll get two miners. All right, so they've got a giant and that's gonna be very, two giants. I don't know how our sword wrath they're gonna do, but we are freezing these guys up. One guy took rather minimal damage. So let's see if the freezing applies to the giants because that's what'll help us. Otherwise, oh my God, that's a lot of reinforcing sword wrath. Is one, gi one giant's already dead. <laughs> This is an absolute avalanche. Uh, yeah, okay, with insta build, this is pretty impressive. We might get this before. Look at that. It's like, it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog is just rolling into the wizard tower. We create, <laughs> okay, I was a little worried, but uh, I shouldn't have been. That one literally took less than a minute. Insta build is nasty. So, what did we learn today? Well, let's try it. <laughs> I love this. Da, 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 da. Oh, the trumpets, they're great. So we've got a tournament, so if you guys have a tournament challenge, we can try that out. Okay, the newest mission, start with 3,000 gold, no magic kill, no upgrades. Oh, well we can't do the icy one then. Oh, deathmatch build speed, perfect, yeah. 
Let's try it again. I need to make sure all my upgrades are here. All right, so we know the drill. We sent them in and we have instant build. So we will just flood the battlefield. I've never tried this strategy because for whatever reason, I'm not a big fan of the ice skins. Look at these guys. They're like, yeah, we got a big army. Well, you're dead. We got ice. The avalanche is at hand. So eventually we'll just continue to push forward. They're fully upgraded, so they're actually pretty tanky. And we're already through and we're stabbing at the wizards. So those wizards are dead and now Sonic the Hedgehog is gonna take over. And we, you know what, Surveyor, you are right. This might be the most broken strategy in all of Stick War Legacy. This is impressive. Okay, that's a big army. But look at how many men I have. I mean, you can't stop me, mate. Oh wait, did I, do we have no miners? Yeah, we basically have no miners. And there goes the statue. Did we beat it in under a minute? I don't think so. It's probably just over a minute, like a minute. Oh, minute 04. I was gonna guess a minute 15. This strategy is broken. Guys, share with me your most OP strategies in Stick War Legacy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.